Hi everyone, this is Lily's Tarot and this is going to be a general reading for the collective. It's a choose a pile reading based on the full moon that we have in Aquarius. So we're going to see what this full moon has to offer. I want to welcome you to my channel. Thank you to all my new subscribers, my current subscribers. You can also contact me for a personal reading. Everything you need to know is in the description box below. Also join, join me on my social medias as well. Uh, so that will flag up on the screen sort of from time to time all right so let's take a look what because you know full moon is also about releasing letting go and also beginning anew so let's see what's going on so we'll do we'll do three piles today so we've got pile one pile two um pile three don't forget to check out my other readings as well. I dropped the Lionsgate portal. And um, who has a crush on you as well? All right, pile three. Oh, you're stubborn. <laughs> oh, pile three. Oh, anyway, your spirit guides choose. It's not me. There we go. All right, so let's see. Let's start with pile one, shall we? Okay. So we have work through your fears and that is a new moon in Scorpio as well. Okay, so what's going on with my pile one? I kind of feel, hmm, I feel like with pile one, there's something going on here with a new connection and a possibly a, an old connection. Um, I'm looking for the deck I want right in front of me. Go figure. All right, so let's take a look. Pile one, full moon in Aquarius. What is going on? Let's have a look. So what is going on for this full moon with pile one? Oh, we've got Wheel of Fortune and we've got the sun. This is amazing. Oh, oh, page of pentacles and we've got the emperor here. So yeah, I definitely feel like you guys are, you know, I feel like you're making your dreams happen, okay? You've been putting in effort all the time that you kind of have, and you're sort of waiting for this good news to come. And then I think for some, for others of you, there's a connection that's kind of come out of nowhere. It's brought quite a lot of happiness and joy to your life. And you feel like this person is trying to present you with something, okay? It just might not be as big as what you would like but I feel like they're doing sort of the best they can. All right, let's see. So we've got death. Yeah, and we've got nine of pentacles. So guys, I really feel like with part one, you guys are beginning anew. So some of you, I mean, we always tend to feel emotional over a full moon, right? But I feel like some of you could really be going through this heavy weighted sort of um, transformation, this sort of regeneration of yourself, of your life. Yeah, see, we've got this four ones, four of ones with this emperor here, six of swords, and then we've got a king of swords here. So this is what I mean. It's almost like you're saying goodbye to an old connection, but it's almost like you haven't really fully let it go yet. And you're really hoping that this person comes and gives you some information about what's going on. You know, I think it's probably calling more for honesty now. Like, do you really see a future with me or not? Like, you know, so that you can really make your decision. Some of you are finding it hard though to kind of say this to this person because you're afraid that if you give them this type of ultimatum or like sort of this final decision that it is going to be gone for good. And also, again, a lot of you still have this other connection. Um, and so I feel like they're kind of saying the same thing to you. <laughs> yeah, Ace of Pentacles. So this to me is something new. Nine of Wands, but again, it's still stressing you out because this person comes up as a page of pentacles. So it's like they're, they're one foot in and then they're one foot out. So it's almost like it's shaking your, it's, it's shaking your foundation, really. So let's see part one. Yes, they're saying, look, you need to be strong, okay? Pull yourself together, no, I'm joking. <laughs> but it's calling for you to have some strength here in the situation, in the sense that you need to face this once and for all, okay? Because I guess... You're kind of thinking no news is good news, <laughs> but it's also wasting your time. Yeah, high priestess, but you see the person and I feel like that's why you're kind of a bit 
reluctant to kind of give this new person an ultimatum because they are holding a secret from you. Okay, and you can feel it. So your intuition is like through the roof right now. So you definitely feel like this person has a secret. All right, and I just, I think that what it is, is it's maybe you guys just haven't really been seeing each other long enough to build up that trust or for this person to feel like they can tell you what's actually going on because they feel like you might run off. Yeah, so it kind of makes you you're like, my guard is up. I've dropped it a little bit for you, but my guard is still up. But three of swords, I feel like this is your fear. So when they're saying work through your fears, your fears is being caught in a third party situation again, getting your heart broken again. Yeah, eight of swords. So you kind of feel trapped in this energy and you're not really knowing how to kind of escape it. The way to escape it is taking action. Yeah, see, there's just so much inner conflict, inner turmoil when it comes to this situation, both of these situations. And we've got Knight of Wands here. So yeah, I feel like maybe for some of you, you're only sort of having a casual relationship with this person, but you're realizing that your feelings are growing even more for them. So I think that's probably what's making you feel fearful in terms of talking to them about something more. But at the end of the day, it's like it's following you. You can't get it out of your head. All right. I definitely feel like to both of these people can't leave you alone anyway, even if they try. And we got this Ace of Wands. And we got a Tower Woo, with the Temperance. And we've got a Hangman. And we've got two of swords. So yeah, I really do feel like there is something coming towards you that's really going to make you... I don't know. It, it, it kind of feels like this person does want to offer you more, but they feel imbalanced in their own life. So like with this temperance, I feel like they're not... They got one foot in and one foot out in, in their own life with things going on, you know, behind the scenes. So that's why they feel like their hands are tied. There's something that's restricting them. Because remember I said they have a secret. So they feel like they can't really claim you the way they would want to and I kind of feel like this person is giving their time to other people as well but with this three of one and, the, and these ten of pentacles it's almost like I don't know what they're waiting for in order to come in and say look yeah I want a relationship with you blah 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 but I feel like they've just got so much other things going on outside and I feel like it's involving money as well got high priest here Four of Pentacles and Ace of Cups. Yeah, it's almost like they, they know that they, they feel like this is a deeper connection, like a soulmate type of connection, but they're not, they're just not able. So they kind of keep a lot of cards close to their chest, but really and truly, they want to offer you the Four of Cups, the Four of Cups, sorry, the Ace of Cups. Okay, so I do feel like you guys are going through a situation where you're going to have a break period and you might end up walking away from this person during this time. But at the end of the day, I feel like with this work through your fears, you're gonna find yourself here again with somebody else, okay? And, and it might not just be the fact that you feel like this person is holding back, but maybe as well, you're also afraid to kind of give 100%. So sort of finding out that they're doing something or whatever, they're holding something against you or, or behind your back, kind of makes you go, aha, don't have to commit, don't have to, you know? So they're saying, either which way it goes, you need to work through your fears, especially when it comes to these two masculines here, or feminines. Take it as it resonates. All right, part one. So yeah. <laughs> All right, so we have Aries, Leo, Pisces, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn. And we've got a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius here. But at the bottom of the deck, there is justice. So either which way it goes, you still need to get yourself out of these situations if they're not going to be... There's no longevity in it, and then there's no real relationship to be had at the end. Either way, you have to face your fears, okay? And, and talk to these people. And oh, it's so hard for you guys, because I'm really feeling it. Like, I'm... I feel like knots in my stomach for you right now and my heart is beating really fast, okay? But you need to free yourself from this, all right? So that you can move on and so you could be happy. All right, what else is coming towards you, part one? Let's see. Full moon in Aquarius. Ooh. 
Yeah, see, we've got this main mail and we've got a message. But we've got some unexpected income here. And sudden wealth, wow. So yeah, there's definitely a masculine around you who's doing really well. Okay, and I feel like they want to give you some money or they want to treat you or they want to help you with something, okay? Or they're trying to invest in you in some type of way. We've got distant horizons. Yeah, we've got a new beginning. All right, this also could be someone else that you know. All right, that is just saying, look, what do you need? Do you need help? Look, we've got a journey. I feel like there's someone that definitely wants to take you away on some type of trip. They're thinking about you. They're watching your social medias a lot, okay? All right, part one. Let's see. Yeah, we've got a mask, not showing true feelings, hiding. And not dealing with it today as well. That could be a bit of you. And whatever kind of pictures or videos you have with someone, they're kind of reminiscing over it. But they're definitely watching, stalking, okay? And they know they need to give you some form of truth. All right, so just be prepared for this message to come in. All right, but I really do feel like this person does think a lot of you. Okay, they do respect you. It's just, I feel like you've just walked into their life at a bad time. Okay, but they do want to make you feel good. And they do kind of want to take care of you as well. All right, part one. I think what it is as well is maybe you want to take a trip, but you just don't really have enough money. And I feel like this person wants to give you money so that you could go away and just rest and rejuvenate as well. All right. So we have change your life, a sudden revelation that offers freedom, break free of procrastination, embrace the opportunities that change brings. And then we've got the moon, the opportunity to improve your plans, listen to your intuition for accurate guidance, face your fears and grow stronger. <laughs> so we've got a gift of passion, opportunity and inspiration, the chance to do something amazing, a sense of wonder. It's not all bad, part one. And where are you? Right in front of me. I want to give you an angel message and I'm going to move on to part two. Be honest with yourself. Look into your heart and you will know the truth of this situation. It's safe to admit the truth to yourself for we will support and guide you through any necessary changes. Lean upon us for courage and the strength to take good care of yourself. Focus only upon your true desires and they'll come to you upon angel wings. You're going to be okay. You're protected. You're safe. All right. It's just one of these things. Okay. It's going to challenge you to learn and grow. You know, there is a bit of courage here needed. But yeah, they're asking you to face your fears, part one. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Okay, hit the notification bell as well. Take care, guys, and I'll see you again soon. Bye. Okay, so now we're going to move on to part two. So what is this full moon in Aquarius doing for you guys, part two? We've got communication is key. And that is a new moon in Gemini. Let's see. Let's, let's get straight to it. All right, part two. What do we have for you, full moon in Gemini? Let's give you one more. Oh, we got six of cups. King of cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Knight of Swords, oh, Five of Pentacles. Someone definitely don't like be on the outside looking in now, okay? They're rushing in. I feel like they kind of want to give you some good news or a new epiphany, okay? <laughs> yeah, I really feel like this person, um, I feel like they're looking out to the future with you. Yeah, and we've got the chariots. I definitely feel like they're saying, we need to move this along. Like, I really like you. I want to be with you. <laughs> But we've got five of pentacles, seven of cups. I feel like they think you can't make up your mind about them. And I think that they think that you have all these options. All right. And so they leave you out in the cold sometimes, but you also do it to them. But we've got two of cups here. So you definitely have some type of soulmate, past life connection. Okay. I definitely think you guys, when you're together, you bring a lot of harmony to your lives, to each other's lives. And then now this king of cups... 
I feel like before it wasn't really about stability home, but now it is because they've met you. And this person really wants to start putting back into the relationship. Like whatever it is you were putting in before, they really want to match it. Yeah, so they're watching you right now. Okay, because I think they think that you've got someone else. When I kind of get in the vibe that it's more about you just sort of being a little bit scared or you feel like this person doesn't really understand you, all right? Or you've kind of only been able to show one side of yourself. Oh, but we got the world. Oh, we got Ace of Cups and we got Ace of Pentacles. This person really does. I'm going to use the words love, okay? Or they definitely see themselves falling in love with you and they see a really great future they feel like you guys can make great love together they feel like you guys could even have a business together but you just keep them in this hangman position all right but i i, I also feel like it's you you think they're keeping you in the hangman position but yeah i really feel like it's a little bit more coming from you but we got justice here so this is definitely a relationship of equal give and take that's what this person wants but I feel like you've got a fear that this person is juggling you with someone else. And it's kind of stressing you out a little bit. Yeah, three of swords. It's like you feel like there's a third party situation. Yeah, so you're just kind of over it. Your guard goes up and then it's a page of cups. I feel like you're just about returning their messages. But you come out as the queen of wands, so you are strong, you are confident. Yeah, we got Pisces energy here. I kind of feel like some of you have your own secret as well. Yeah, lovers. So maybe what it is, is you guys were seeing somebody that you still have feelings for, and maybe you've seen this person in between seeing this one as well without sort of letting them know or telling them anything. Yeah, and I also feel like it's kind of similar with your person. There's definitely someone that they was given a lot of time and attention to until they met you. It's almost like they're really trying to get rid of this person, but they're struggling a little bit, okay? But we have the sun here. I kind of think that they want you to sort of tell this person how you're really feeling, even though it's hard for you because you're really independent, you're strong. You know, you don't really need anyone for anything, you know, and they like that about you. So you're kind of pushing them away. But I think it's because you've moved away from a difficult time with somebody else, you know, where you were the one putting in all the work and you invested a lot of time and energy, but you guys have gone on to a better place. So it's almost like you just don't want to jeopardize the happiness you already have within yourself. Yeah, but we've got the Empress and we've got the Wheel of Fortune here. And we've got the Ten of Swords and the star so yeah i do i i kind of feel like this person is gonna come to you i feel like the end of this however you're feeling about being stabbed in the back or, or about being betrayed it's kind of coming to an end there's a lot of healing that's going to come from this relationship but at the same time you still need to be honest with yourself because we've got the seven of swords here as well and i kind of feel like you're not really being honest about how you feel with your ex um you know, maybe there's a part of you that still thinks that your person can't really be trusted. Yeah, see, we got eight of swords. I really feel like you were cheated on really badly or lied to in the past. So it's kind of hard for you to sort of let go and kind of move on from that ten of wands. But I do see you making the effort. All right. You really do need to communicate what it is you need, how you want to be loved. Because look. After you've, you've had this separation from a previous ex, they're coming back. All right, this king of pentacles here, which I think is more what your fear is. So part of you is pushing away this new person, but really it's because you're scared because if your old person comes back, you still want to give them the opportunity to be with them. And you know that if you move on, it might not happen. All right, so I definitely think you kind of just need to communicate with what it is that you really want with this person. Because sometimes you tell yourself you want more, but really you don't. <laughs> it's just the fact that you want to feel like you've moved on from your ex, even though you kind of haven't. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Sagittarius. Aquarius. Libra, Taurus. Leo, Gemini, Pisces. Said that already, didn't I? Libra, yeah. All right, so let's see what else 
for this full moon in Aquarius, pile two. We've got distant horizons, privileged lady, and we got the lovers, yes, and judication, yeah. Maybe what it is is you two just can't really get on the same page, but it's just because you're not, you're not really being honest about your feelings, okay, or what you want, let's say. We've got communication, we've got a message coming through. Yeah, see, and we got high honor, and, and that's what I think it's about. Maybe you need to resolve this situation with your ex. For some of you, this could just be letting go of baggage, okay? And we've got expectations. Yeah, I think it's more about letting go of your expectations. But wow, guys, you definitely have some new money coming towards you in work, all right? There's definitely a lover here who wants to move things forward with you. And you've got this new start. You just kind of need to negotiate your terms and conditions, okay? <laughs> yeah, they're saying make sure you get a lot of rest. Wow. Someone really wants to make you a star, okay? So whatever it is you're doing, they either want you to be in charge of everything, okay? Or they want you to be this high-flying uh, social media influencer, I'm hearing. Or they want you to represent them in some type of way, okay? Or they just want your business. But either way, it's a nice, healthy contract. So your mind can be at ease when it comes to work. Yeah. This is all right, part two. It's not so bad. Yeah, see? And then you have this ex who is in prison somewhere else, okay? Either they're literally in prison or they're just in a situation, all right? Or a relationship or whatever. I feel like this person probably wants to send you some type of gift to show that you're still on their mind, that they still care about you. All right, or just to get your attention, you. <laughs> Bit of that going on, you know? All right, let's see, pile two. Full moon in Aquarius. Yeah, not today. There's a lot of not, you not really wanting to deal with what's going on right now. But they're saying, look, you're going to need to because it's all kind of coming to a head. And when it happens, you don't want to be all emotionally crazy over it, all right? So take that time out now to really go through it because you're going to get some clarity. You're going to get some truth, all right? I definitely feel like you're reminiscing on a lot of things you guys have done together. I think you're stalking your person just as much as they're stalking you. But then we've got someone here coming through who wants to have a date with you, all right? But this person does like to chase. All right, and you're just feeling heartbroken, but you are ascending past all of this, okay? So they're saying don't overindulge too much in, you know, things that are not right for you, okay? No, that's not easy. All right, pile two. There we go. Let's read you an angel message here. Oh, no, wait, I'll give you one of these. Two. Yes, it's safe to trust. The ability to accomplish many things at once. Follow your creative passion. And we got the lovers. Make choices from your heart. Deeply emotional commitments. The power of love. And then we have, there's so much to accomplish. Make a very detailed plan. Being watched over by somebody kind. And then we've got a positive new emotional experience. Fulfilling romantic relationships. Deep and lasting spiritual insight. Oh, so yeah, maybe, you know, you just, again, set out your terms and conditions. All right, those are called your boundaries. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we got family. This situation is rooted in an emotional experience with a family member, which we can help you to understand and heal in your mind and heart. Surround this person, yourself and the experience with calm and blue light and many angels. Be open to the gifts within the situation, <clears throat> sorry, and allow yourself to feel at peace. So yeah, maybe what it is as well is that you never really felt like you could ever ask for what you want, for what you wanted, or, you know, everything was just kind of difficult for you growing up with your family. So maybe what it is is some shadow work is coming up, okay? Maybe part of our dark side, you know, the things that tell us we're not good enough, we don't deserve love, oh, you're rubbish, who are you? 
you know, all those things probably need to be addressed around this time, okay? So some of that stuff might come up for you as well, but it's all right, okay? It's so that you can heal, release that burden, and move on, okay? Part two, I really hope you enjoyed that reading. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Take care, and I'll see you soon. Bye. Okay, so now we're going to move on to part three. We got luck is on your side. Mm -hmm. And that is a new moon in Sagittarius. So let's see what's going on for my pile three. It's not going to resonate with everyone. Take what does, leave what doesn't. This is a full moon in Aquarius. All right, let's see. What do we have? What's coming up for you? We got four of cups. Oh, five of pentacles. And the tower. <laughs> And we got that King of Pentacles. <laughs> Nine of Swords, oh. You know what, I feel like both of you are kind of stressed out in this, in this connection. Sorry, there was a sound, I just heard something. Yeah, I kind of think both of you are feeling a little bit stressed out here, okay? Yeah, because I feel like you've got someone who's holding back because they're not really sure, or they're more focused on work or making money or sorting out their own kind of stability or whatever. So they're kind of just a little bit in and out. And then you've also got that from a, a king of wands as well. <clears throat> <sighs> yeah, but with this tower, you got this karma. So it's like someone just can't leave you alone. Yeah, because you've got a king of pentacles who is juggling you, but I think you kind of know in a way. That's why they hold back a little bit. Because I think they just have so much going on. And then you've got a third male here as well. <laughs> it's almost like these masculines are attached to other people. But they, they meet you. They feel like so much spiritual connection, so much healing, so much happiness, so much joy. And you kind of turn their world upside down. All right, but you wouldn't know any of this. But at least with that tower, you've got this Ace of Cups coming here. Yeah, we got death here. So definitely one of them is going to go, okay? Could be an Aries, Leo, Sag. But this person is very much a hothead. They ain't letting you go without a fight. All right, they're just trying to keep you trapped a little bit. All right, but we got this. Let's see who this one is. Three of Pentacles. Four of Swords. So you were definitely in separation from somebody. Three of Swords, yeah, because they had somebody else. But with this Ten of Pentacles coming through and this Justice, this person has worked out their issues. <laughs> okay, they've released who they've needed to release and they are making their way towards you. Yeah, I feel like there was like a, a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius female that they kind of had. I don't know if this person... I feel like their person had to cut them off, okay? For whatever reason, I don't know. It doesn't seem too bad, but it just feels like they had to let go of this situation, okay? And so now they're saying with you, it's like there's a lot of um, there's a lot of pride coming through because it's like, well, why didn't you choose me before? Now you're coming back to me kind of thing. But we got this hermit. It's like this person really did need to, I feel like they are a serious person. And they really needed to step back and say, okay, what am I really going to do about this? Because I just kind of met this person over here, you know, even if it's been six months, a year, whatever. And whoever they've been with before, they've been there for a longer period of time. So I definitely think like this person's had to retreat. Okay, go talk to God. All right. He called on Jesus in this time and was like, who do I want? What do I really want? And here they come with that knight of swords. They're coming in to give you some good news. I really feel like you like this person as well. This person is very dependable. All right. But with this seven of swords, I think you just think that they're just going to go really, really slow. Or they're just going to kind of be in and out. And then it's just sort of going to be over. Okay. But they're saying try not to overanalyze a situation. All right. Give this time to play out. Don't walk away too soon because there is an ace of pentacles here. No one is perfect and no relationship is perfect and everybody has options, okay? Because I feel like that this person has a lot of people that want them. But what you've done is just been cool about it, been chill about it, removed yourself. You haven't sort of got too emotional with this person. And then now we have the lovers, okay? And with this Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy where they're saying, 
this is what I want, I'm being direct, I want you, it is what it is, okay? So I feel like they're saying luck is on your side. Wow, as I turn that over, we've got the sun. So there is nothing but good news coming your way. Okay, so I definitely feel like there's a lot of good fortune heading your way, pile three, with this full moon in Aquarius, which is so cool, because I think you guys really deserve it. Okay, so we've got Aries, Leo, Sag, Pisces, uh, Pisces, Aquarius, Scorpio, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Aries, Scorpio, <laughs> Libra, Gemini, yeah, Aquarius, yeah, Virgo, Leo, Oof. it's heating up for you guys, yes, all right, let's have a look, part three. We got thoughts, someone's thinking about you and a message coming through, okay? And high honor. So this is like someone who does, I feel like this person really does hold you in the highest of regards. I think they think a lot of you. Yeah, great fortune. They almost feel like you've been so unlucky in your life that they wanna give you some luck. You know, they wanna be, oh, oh gotta feel a bit emotional. It's like if anyone deserves to have the best things in life, I mean, even materially, even though you don't care, but even just that, like, I feel like it's the life that they can give you. But not only that, it's the love, it's the protection, it's the support that they want to give you. They feel like you deserve it. Yeah, distant horizons. This person, again, might say, look, why don't we just go away and spend a couple of days together? I feel like you lot probably haven't spent that amount of close time with each other. But they're saying, look, why not? Okay, or just come and stay with me for a couple of days. Like, let's just see what things are really going to be like, okay? So we've got a new pathway opening up. Wow, we've definitely got something new and amazing coming through for you at work as well. Yeah, look, they're a wealthy man. This is what I'm saying. And uh, this person doesn't really boast with their wealth either. So I think out of your connections, this is the one that's actually going to push through. You know, like when everyone's running that race and they're just slowing down. And then they start to speed up. This person, it's just been a very slow, 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 slow moving race. They've been like a turtle, but then they just whoosh, come in to take first place. I like this person. I really feel like you know this person from in and around your community. Okay, and they just want a fresh start with you. So have fun. All right, pile three. Full moon in Aquarius. Take a chance, take a risk. Interesting, conversing more. This person wants to talk. And we got paradise, happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, enjoying each other, abundance. Keep a positive mindset, manifest exactly what you want. And we've got the chaser, the seducer, someone who stabbed you in your back, okay? And they're saying, leave this. Because I think this is the person you're in separation with. Just leave it in separation, okay? They don't value you. They don't treasure your worth, okay? It's, it's like pointless. But we got clarity, we got truth, and we are moving on to the next level. Good for you, pile three. challenge you can resolve withdraw from the drama of others have patience with yourself and those around you and then we've got it's light at the end of the tunnel breathe a sigh of relief and make new plans relocation or travel there is so much to accomplish make a very detailed plan being watched over by someone kind and then we have the emperor aries aries energy here stability and efficiency taking charge of a situation ambitious plans oh guys it's gonna be beautiful, it's all gonna work out. All right, pile three. Let's get your angel message. We've got child, you care deeply about children and they readily respond to your love. All children, including your own inner child, require love, affection and attention. We can clear and open your heart and schedule so that you can give more time and energy to the children who need you. So check this out, have some fun. 
Okay, there's not much you can control in this situation. Okay, but luck is on your side, so you have nothing to worry about. Go out, enjoy yourself, live it up. Spend some time with some children in your family, children around you. Maybe it's your own kids. Have some fun. All right, guys, I really hope you enjoyed that reading. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I love you guys so much. I really appreciate all your support, your love, your warm energy, your protection that you guys send me. So yeah, thank you so much. And again, I will see you soon. Bye.